<coughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Replay Preplay, and welcome to Mad Father. A, hey, um, I don't even remember the controls for this. Holy shit, has it been that long? Uh, okay, so this is a game I actually played about. It, whoops, this is a game I actually played about a year ago, but I actually don't remember a whole lot about it, or really actually remember playing it. But I know I, I know I did play it. I know I did complete it. But I wanted to bring it to you guys. And in my actual playthrough of it, I was just so disappointed in myself for what uh, I actually did. So I'm gonna start a new game here. And not all the um, animations or whatever are gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and talk. Uh, through this, you guys may be noticing I'm using a bit of a different setup, and the sound sounds a little different, and probably so do I. I actually have this little itty bitty microphone here sitting inside of my shirt because it's only like it, it's only like pint high. Not even kidding. So it's just uh. It's, it's just gonna sit here on my shirt like this, cause I'm the moron and when I ordered it, I didn't realize it was this small. But I am actually hooked up using the speakers in the chair for this horror experience. Yes, this is a horror game and it includes zombies, my one nightmare. But these zombies, uh, these zombies are a little different, so I can handle them a little bit much as I talk about the game, I'm probably gonna still get lost a lot, stuck on some of the puzzles like I did last time. Like I said before, uh, I was really disappointed with how I played the game last time. I didn't do everything I wanted to, so you guys get to see um, what I didn't do. Because I'm gonna bring you everything that I wanted to do in the game, to a point. Uh... But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and not reveal a whole lot of the um, a lot of the um, story for you guys. Mad Father. Yes. I'm actually gonna turn that up a little bit. Full volume. Good. What awaits us? I'm actually gonna do a mind wipe on my uh, on the gameplay here. Let me just get on my little jug of bleach, bleach here, my brush. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, just just give myself a good, you know, brainwashing here before we begin. All right, let's go. Oh, what's this game? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, wow. Uh, Northern Germany. Father. I'm not. Whoops, I'm not gonna do a little girl's voice for the character here. I'm gonna try as many voices as I, as I can, but I'm gonna try not to go as voice. It's really gonna hurt my throat if I do it for the entire uh, video series. Father, are you in there? Father! Aya, uh, how many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father, but um, I'm too scared to sleep on my own. Aya, uh, don't worry. You're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. Ah, la la la. <sighs> I'll bring you up a little bit. Eh. She's always looking after you, Aya. Uh, okay, yeah, that's probably good. Okay. Now please, go to bed. Yes, father. Such an obedient little girl. Good girl. Father, tomorrow's, yes, the anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now, back to bed, please. I'll be resting too shortly. Okay. Stop! Stop! No! Ah! Help me! Help! Help! 
There we go, that's pretty good. Ooh, someone got so weird. That's pretty bad. I know Father's secret. My father is a scientist. He loves research and is always locked up in the lab in the basement. And I've always heard things from that lab. Animal and human scream. But I'm Ah, there we go. Now the speakers can be right by my ears. So I'm just giving my, myself a adjustment here for a, a gameplay experience for everybody. Even at a young age, I knew what my father was doing. So I pretended I wasn't looking. But I didn't know or hear anything. I think ignorance all the whole time. Because I love the father. So I'm not sure. Pretty sure. Uh, I'm just gonna turn that up a little bit. <laughs> That's not the only secret I know. Oh. When mom and I went around, he and his helper, who <gasps> so much man. A fine. A fine. Terrible. Just terrible. Okay. A fine sample. I said it's supposed to be the main material is myself. You have, you have pretty eyes. You have really pretty eyes. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor. Doctor. Swear of our relationship. What does it matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. That girl will be 11. It is a troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Make sure she is never harmed. She is my most precious. You, you are, you are a despicable man. Though your wife might be dead at this point. I don't really know. Like there was just. There were so many mysteries to this game that were left unsolved for me. In in actuality, it's midnight. Today's the day Mom went to heaven. Oh, how sad. Mom. <laughs> Sorry, no. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna joke around too much on that one. Uh, a little bit rude of me. I can never sleep when I think about Mom. You're. <laughs> Okay, so now we actually have a chance to move around. Yeah, portrait. Mom. Oh my god. Oh wow. Hey baby. How are you doing? What should I do, Mom? I do love Father, but... She scares me. She's always looking at me. With those eyes. I hate her. A little harsh there. It's a little harsh there. Uh, stop being such a little dick. Microphone. You, God, she's such a beautiful lady. But I know Father likes her. Shameful. Let's go. Destroy their everything together. If Father and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having serious microphone trouble here. I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need a new mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Oh, how sad. Uh, why did you have to go? Uh, who's this? A beloved doll. 
doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. And uh, flashback. I I can't do ripple effect here. I'm sorry. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay! It's a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Father. I'm s I'm such a cute little girl. Why? What a pretty doll. It's almost like it's real. Ooh. No, I don't want. Why are you yelling at me like that? Okay. It's almost like it's real. Oh, thank you, Father. Yeah, here. Who are you? This dresser full of clothes. Nothing useful. Um, no. Nope. Teddy bear. Nothing. Okay. I thought she was going to say the dark quartet. The red eyed stranger. Oh! <gasps> Something fell out! What's this? What's this? I'll get a gem. Yeah. Gems are hidden in various places. You, some require doing special events to get. You can see the gem count on the menu. Find them all and... I'm just gonna leave that there. Horace the Trader. Okay. Uh, Snowball, the pet rabbit. What was that? Why do them go flicky flicky? Why do that go flicky flicky? The room feels cold all of a sudden. I'm kind of scared. I should get back to bed. No, I want to see what's in the box for the memories. Okay. So you guys actually may be wondering why I'm actually using the chair for this episode instead of the usual headset. Well, self-explanatory. Good night. Good night. I actually really wanted to use the chair for a horror game for a long time. Just, you know, get a good... Oh, 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 okay. That's not as sinister as I thought it was. You sing so well, Aya. Father, would you look this way? Give me a moment. Just put this here. Yes, it's finished. Uh, that damn microphone. Gosh darn microphone. There we go. That seems good. La 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 la. A flower crown? Oh, Father, you shouldn't have. Does it look good on me? Yes, I think it suits you well. Ah. Uh. Yay! Thank you, Father. I'm sorry I can't always play with you. <laughs> no. Sorry, sorry. She's a little girl. That's wrong. It's bad, bad me, bad me. <clears throat> Father, it's all right. I'm glad I could play with you today, Father. <clears throat> Oh my! You two were playing together? Hey, how's it going? Sexy. Look! Look, Father made me a flower crown! Uh, let me just give this mic a good licking smile. Uh, uh, uh. What a tasty, what a tasty and nutritious microphone this is! That's wonderful! It looks great on you, Aya! So you played with him all day? Yeah! We should do this again, Father. Yes, we should. Next time your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. <laughs> they, they both shock. Mom! Uh, I'm sorry. Just another fit. <laughs> Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. Come, get some medicine from Maria. It should help you get better. No, 
I can get that myself. Oh. Should add more tone to that. Mom, are you hurt? You okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I am perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. Aya. Your smile keeps me going best of all. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mom. I'm sorry, I really can't do a woman's voice very well. I'm gonna... <clears throat> try my best here. Now, let's get back for dinner. I made hamburger steak tonight. Your favorite, I... Yay! Hamburger! No, I... I actually don't really care for hamburger. Well, can't really say I don't care for hamburgers. I do like hamburgers. <laughs> I love Bob's hamburgers. Right, Father? <laughs> Sorry. Of course, hamburgers are the best in the world. The best in the county. We were so happy then. Maria, but even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then mom passed away from illness, oh. and the happiness we had then, well. Sounds like someone got stabbed. Ah! And the cave of ah! Huh? That scream, Father! Something must have happened. I'll go check on Father. Okay, so uh, take the bunny. Take the bunny. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I have a bad feeling. Well, you should! Your father, Paula, just got stabbed. What's this? Is it a voice? Woo! Eek! Whoa! Whoa! Ugh, you guys are ugly. No! no don't! This way! Who's that? Come this way! Is somebody there? Hey! Are, are, are you okay? Daddy? Who are you? This way. Who? Stay with me. I said, you, Sir, you seem to be missing some of your face there. Nope! Ah, who are you? Sorry, let me just get my accordion out here. Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? No, don't be so aggressive. I am merely a salesman. Salesman? Call me Ogre. I hope to get you know you. I hope to get to know you, young lady. You seem rather suspicious, sir. <sighs> but it's quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Loiter? Corpses? Those monsters back there? They're like monsters from a story. Why will monsters like that? Well, it's a curse! What you saw there were the corpses of your father's death subjects. Overcome with anger, those deceased have been brought back to... Back by the power of a curse. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father's in danger? I have to save him. Why is that? To achieve his desires, he has killed so many people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You have a fair point there. 
You must have realized by now your father's true nature. And yet you wish to save him. My mom. Perhaps she cannot understand their sorrow. What is your deal? Father was always kind to me. He's the only father I have. And I promised mom too. Ah, oh, such a good story. The Red Eyed Stranger gave Jack the power to curse others. And Jack said, Thank you, Red Eyed Stranger. Now I can get my revenge. What the fuck kind of children's story is that? Hey, Mom. Yes, Aya. What's Father always up to down below? It's a very difficult job. You'll understand when you're older, Aya. I want to be older soon then. I, uh, whatever happens, you shouldn't hate your father. Mom, what's the matter? Of course I wouldn't hate father. I see. Mom, do you not like father? No, nothing like that. I'm just like you, Aya. I love father just as much. Whew! He can be a bit unpredictable, so let's support each other no matter what. Promise? Yeah. Now, back to the story. So who's who's Jack gonna go curse? I wonder. Mom, whatever happens, I love Father. So don't worry. I have to go say Father. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, bird! A crow? Okay. Save point. Okay, so I want to make two save points. Right now, establish two save points. Okay, so we don't want to probably go back that way. So, to the laboratory then. Yeah. Ugh. 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 I'm going to stay up here a minute. Well, um... Oh, I have a little health bar. Okay, so I think there's the basement. Because... Besides there, that seems to be the only door there is. Ah! Great. I missed. Okay, cafeteria. Ow! Ow! Damn it! Go! Go in the door! Go! Get in the door! Ah, shit. Sorry if I dislike... Destroyed your eardrums, everybody. Here, give a couple more saves. Cause I was obviously. <gasps> Where's this go? It's a mystery door. It's locked. Damn it. <coughs> so, like I said earlier, uh, like I was saying earlier, I was kind of. Ooh, what's that? There's something there. Ooh, what the hell are you? <coughs> what is that? Whoa! Ah, yeah, you're so scary with your fake sound effects. Are you a giant necromorph? Even though I've never played Dead Space, cause you know, I don't really like zombies. Okay, so can't get to the base, man. Where do we go now? Uh, can we get here? What is this? Lots of footprints. Reception room. Sure, why not? Not the reception room. Hmm. Painting of a beautiful woman. The clock has stopped at midnight. Damn! Perpetual twilight. Like Twilight Princess. I thought I heard someone. You did. Come on. Don't do me like this volume. Too loud. Ooh, hey! Charm Encyclopedia. Good luck, Charms. For the ones you want, for the ones you love to be happy for this. 
You want the ones you love to be happy. Sorry, I can't read. I don't know how to read. For this, good luck charm does the trick. All you need is one thing, and you must have this. It is love. Yes, love. Kiss someone's forehead with love and say a blessing. And then they will magically have good luck. Isn't that wonderful? I suppose so. Ah, oh, good, Mr. George. What do I do about that? I don't think I want to go near that painting. Something moved there. Yeah, saving is possible. So anyway, what do we got in here? Row of pots. How about that? Yeah. Uh, what's this over here? What do we got? Well, maintain flower pots. Sorry. Sorry, I'm checking everything out because I don't want to miss any gems. Why? Why the bathroom? Anyway, like I was saying, anyway, I was going to do, uh, ooh, boom, mm, uh, neglected cardboard box, wonderful, a flower pot, wonderful, toilet, great, I might need that in a minute when I shit myself, uh, <laughs> anyway, as I was saying earlier, uh, I want to go do the uh, pool of blood right now, I want to uh, tell you why I wanted to use the chair for a horror game, because I think it would actually be a really good horror experience, is having these freaking speakers right behind me. So, it's one of the first games I decided to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course there's a dead body in the bathtub. Uh, it was one of the first games. Yeah, we got the cafeteria key. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, it was one of the first games I wanted to do because I really wanted to play it again. <laughs> oh, you're going to get up, you bastard. Hey! <laughs> What? What was that doll moving? Oh, that was a doll. Ooh, yeah, that is a bit creepy. I don't like dolls. Is that part of the curse too? Mm. That might be something else, but yes. I'm gonna skedaddle back upstairs. What do we got here? Ooh. Yeah, I was right. Hi, lady. Uh, I don't think I want to get close to you. <laughs> okay, bye. Running back to my room now. That weird guy is gone. Ugh, God, I am shaking now. Snowball, the pet rabbit. Yes! Take the money. We don't want her to be eaten. Here, Snowball. Snowball loves father too, don't you? Snowball? Snowball, where are you? What do I do? And your leg hurts too. I'm worried. <gasps> Snowball! Where did you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I couldn't wrap that around with... I couldn't wrap up that wound with you running around. Huh? Wait, huh? Your wound is healed. Phew. What a troublesome rabbit. Father! Aya, uh, try not to let Snowball out of your sight, will you? The rabbit made a mess of the kitchen. Sorry. Snowball must have been trying to get a bite of Maria's cooking again, huh? Yes. Cookie. I think that's what she's doing with the bodies. Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, it put that leg wound while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father. Snowball's a member of the family, treated as well as any other. Yeah. Got Snowball. Yay! Okay, so, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for this episode. So, if you like the video, or have a game you'd like to recommend, uh, leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can see more of this wonderful, wonderful horror game. And me broadcasting it to you, or 
delivering it to you in the uh, chair with the speakers working components. I'm probably going to play the whole game like that because I just, I loved this game and I want some of my answers question and I really want to play more of it again. So, until then, I will see you, you, in the next video. Peace. Peace.